Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. And he landed the right hand there. Right hand upstairs. So he did hit the desired target, but it almost looked like slow motion to me. Yeah, he's moving in slow motion. He's throwing out of there. everything he's do at something. his opponent, and he couldn't get him out of there. Now it's just a matter of trying to survive and not get knocked out himself. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. The body there. Vicious attack to the body. Final seconds here. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it something. here. Nice punch. So his legendary chin holds up despite getting knocked down in that previous round. DC, take us through the highlight. He's as tough as they come. There has not been a guy that can take shots like this. Most times the night would be over. And gladly, gladly over after you take a shot like this. But this man's just too tough. Some people say he's too tough for his own good. He would not agree with you. He wants to fight. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five. And a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15 minute fight. So you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go to that extra 10 minutes. Now connects with a right. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. You need to get out of Man, this is some Let's serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. Stop. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strike. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly go, go, go. doing so here. Nice punch. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, tripling up on the jab. Well played. Oh, straight up the gut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that... Oh, he the knockout line. He tasted the knockout line. He's done. He's done. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent. But that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 29 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Andre. So there he is, the new UFC heavyweight champion, DC. I remember when that was your reaction.